So welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about arrays. Now, what is array? So just to explain that what is array, let's take an example. So let's say you have four variables and all these variables of same type, which is int. So let's say we have A, B, C, and D. So we have these four variables and these four variables will have four values, right? So let's say we have four values, which is one, two, three, four. Yeah, we go for normal numbers. So we have four variables. In each variable, we'll be having one value, right? So in A, we have one. In B, we have two. In C, we have three. In D, we have four. So since we have these four variables, in order to use these variables, we can use the variable name, right? So let's say you want to access the value of C. So you can directly say system.out.println and you can mention C, right? But let's say you want thousand variables. So let's say you want to maintain lots of data. So instead of taking those thousand variables, what if you can just create a big variable in which you can have all these values? Is it possible? Well, let's take it this way. Imagine you have you you are uh, you are getting some or you are, you have some guest in your house and you want to serve tea now. Now, when you want to serve tea, let's say you have four guests, okay, and you want to serve tea. So in kitchen you will make those tea, and then in each cup you will be having tea, right? Now, how will you carry those tea cups from your kitchen to hall? Uh, so you have multiple ways. You can carry one cup at a time. So you can you will go to your kitchen, you will carry those carry one cup, and you will serve to your guest. Second cup carry and serve. Third cup and then fourth cup, right? You have second choice, you can carry two cups. You know, we, since we have two hands, you can carry two cups. And the weird way is you can dip your four fingers into in those four cups and then you can carry. But that, that's not good, right? So what we can do is we, we can simply, you know, we can take a tray, okay? So we can buy a tray in which you can have four cups. So buy a tray and take out, take out your cups and put those four cups in that one tray. So instead of carrying four cups, you can carry a big tray. So in the example, each cup will have, each cup is one variable. So let's say cup one is A, cup B, cup two is B and then so on. So we have four cups, four variables. Instead of that, you can take a one big tray, which will be a bigger variable and you can have these four values. Perfect. So now that one tray is an array. So what is array? It's a collection of cups. And that's what tray, right? So what is tray? Collection of cups. So what is array? Collection of elements. Okay, so instead of having four different values, create a one big variable which will have four values. That's one array. Now, how to access those values? Because to access a variable C, you can simply say C, but how to access the third value of an array? Then we have to use some unique numbers. So, every value or every element in your array will be having a unique number, and that number is called as index numbers. And index numbers start with zero. Okay, so if for the first element you have zero, for the second element we have one, then third two, and goes on. Okay, so if your size of array is let's say 50, so the last element index will be 49 because since we are starting with zero, so you have to end at 49. Cool, so that is one dimensional array. Now, let's say you have uh, one more thing, let's say uh, can you expand the size of an array? Uh, so, let's say you, you buy a tray. For four cups and you can have only four cups right can you have five cups you know in a tray of four cups uh, maybe you will overload your array and you will get an error which is tray index out of bound because you don't have a particular uh, space so in in programming we can say it is array index out of bound so you are going uh, you are going ahead of the limit okay so you have to buy a different tray for five elements you have to buy a different tray for ten cups you have to buy different tray for 50 cups so once you buy a tray that will be this the size of the tray will be fixed how you can have a four cup tray in which you can have two cups but you cannot have a four cup tray to have eight cups because it will overload or your you know it will what do you say you, it will overflow to be specific so now uh, in your house you'll be having multiple trays so you'll be having a tray for two cups you'll be having a tray for four cups you'll be having a tray for eight cups now you have around 20 guests in your house and you don't have any tray to carry 20 cups, right? So what you will do, you will take the biggest tray, which is let's say 10 cups. Then you have a second tray, which is of eight cups. Third tray, you have a four cups. So you can take your eight tray cup or 10 tray cup and you can put 10 cups. About that tray, you can have one more tray. You can have four cups and about that, you have one more tray for two cups and then goes on. 
So when you have multiple trays, so let's say when you have multiple cups in one tray is one array. But if you have multiple trays in yeah, you have multiple cups in multiple tray and one tray and you have multiple trays so that will be array of tray okay so we'll be having lots of trays so that is called that is called as two dimensional array okay so let's say you want to access now the uh, third third cup of fifth tray how many trays do you have let's say four trays you want to access the third cup of third tray so you have to mention i want to access the third tray that your row number and then you have to access the third cup that is second column or which is two index number two right so you have to say two comma two that's your third cup sorry third tray and hold on your third tray and third cup right so that is your array of array so if you have trays of same size and four so, so you have four trays and each tray will have four cups so that is your two dimensional array but let's say you don't have tray of same size you have tray of different different size so that tray will be called as jagged array or that array will be called as jagged array so how to implement all this thing you have in theory so in next subsequent tutorials we'll talk about how to implement one one dimensional array two dimensional array and three dimensional array okay so this array it's a tray so thanks for watching and do subscribe for for the videos